Green Day song Good Riddance Time of Your Life starts with a G chord which looks like this. To play a G chord second finger that's the middle finger for guitar players goes to the third fret on string six that's a G note sounds like that. Um, at the same time the first finger that's the index for guitar players goes to the second fret on the fifth string that's a B note sounds like that so so far you have two notes the sixth string on the third fret it's a G and the first finger on the second fret of the fifth string that's a B next you're gonna have an open fourth string which is a D open third string which is a G and now the way that we're gonna play the G chord in this song is that we're going to put the third finger that's the ring finger for guitar players on the third fret of the second string and that is a D note it sounds like that and so so far now we've got three fingers down um, We'll play through each of the notes that we have so far, starting with the sixth string, which is the thickest string. Uh, G, fifth string we're holding, second fret. B, open fourth string. D, open third string. G. Now on the second string, we have our third finger on the third fret for a D. And the last thing we're going to do to shape this chord is bring the pinky, that's the fourth finger for guitar players, onto the third fret of the first string. That's a G. So our whole G chord now we have shaped should sound something like this if we pick through each of the strings individually. G, B, D, G, D, G. So this is the position we want to start the song in. The picking pattern on the right hand, the first thing we're going to start with is a down pick on the sixth string which we're holding our third fret G with the second finger here. G and I say and after because this note, the first note, lasts twice as long as the second note in the pattern. The second note happens to be the same note as the first note. So we're going to pick that sixth string twice, but we're going to say the word and in between to give us proper timing, like this. G and G. Let's try doing that together. Ready, and. G and G. And it's a good idea for you to bring your hand back up while you say the word and. Um, for this song, we're going to pick in a way that corresponds the motion of our hands to the downbeats and the upbeats in the song. And eventually, we're going to be doing a strum pattern where our hand is going to be moving that way, down with the downbeats and up with the upbeats. So let's try that one more time on the sixth string. Ready, and G, and G. Very nice. From there, the next note that happens is on the second string, that's the second thinnest string, which we're holding our third finger down on the third fret of. And for this note, we're going to pick up, since this note happens on an upbeat. So, so far, we'll have something that sounds like this. G and G. So the D happens to take the same amount of time as the first note in the pattern, which was a G. So we'll say and after that note as well. So let's try that together. Ready, and. G and G, D and. Very nice. Notice how I moved my hand down while saying the word and. So. I'm basically moving my hand back and forth um, 
with each syllable that I'm saying to keep my hand in time. We'll do that one more time. Ready, and. G, and, G, D, and. The next note that we're gonna pick is the third string, which is our G string, which is open. Should sound like that. And since we just moved the hand down, we're gonna approach this note with an up pick. So let's try from the beginning of the part once again. Ready, and, G, and, G, D, and, G. Very nice. One more time, I'll do it a little slower for you. Ready, and, G, and, G, D, and, G. Nice job. Next, we're gonna have the fourth string, which is the open D string. I'm gonna pick down on this one. Should sound something like that. Let's try now, playing from the beginning, adding that open D. Ready, and, G, and, G, D, and, G, D. Nice job, we'll give you another shot at it. So once again, a bit slower this time. Ready, and, G, and, G. Nice job. Now, for the last note in the pattern on this chord, we go to the third string. Again, that's our open G. And we pick up before returning back to the beginning of the pattern again on the same chord. So we hold this chord G for two rounds of the picking pattern. We'll try it from the beginning together once again. So, ready, and, G, and, G, D, and, G, D, G. Let's repeat it. G, and, G, D, and, G, D, G. And for those of you that are not so familiar with the names of the notes. Um, we'll do it again now, and this time I'm gonna say which string numbers you're picking. So, here we go, we'll start. Ready, and string six, and six, two, and three, four, three, let's repeat that. Six, and six, job for those of you who played it properly despite the fact that I looked like I was going for the wrong note at one moment. Next chord. Lift fingers one and two, the index and middle, and just move them over one string. So you're now holding the third fret on your fifth string. It sounds like that. It's a C note. And the first finger is on the second fret of the fourth string. Sounds like that. It's an E note. The pinky and the ring are going to stay where they were for the G chord. I'm now holding a chord known as C add nine. If I play through each of the notes individually, starting with the fifth string, we don't pick the sixth string for this chord, um, it sounds something like this. String five is a C, string four, I'm holding an E, string three is an open G, string two has a third fret D, and string one has a third fret G. Nice sounding C add nine chord. The pattern on this chord is the same as it was on the previous chord, meaning the right hand pattern is the same, um, with the exception that now, instead of the sixth string, we pick the fifth string because our root note of our chord now is on our fifth string. So let's try that. That will be string numbers five and five, two and three, four, 
three. I'm gonna do that one more time, saying the names of the notes this time. Ready, and C, and C, D, and G, E, G. Nice job. Before we go further, let's try adding that to what we have so far. So we're gonna go back to our G chord now. Remember, to go back to the G chord, we just lift fingers one and two and put them over onto one, the thicker strings. So we're lifting them up from the fifth and fourth strings and moving them over to the sixth and fifth strings. We're now holding our G chord. We're gonna play the pattern twice on this chord and then switch to our C add nine chord and play the pattern once on that chord. So, ready, and G, and G, D, and G, D, G, G, and G, D, and G, D, G. Switch chords now. C, and C, D. mistake with the note names there. I'll do that one more time with you, a little slower still, uh, saying the string numbers this time instead of the note names. So G chord, finger two on the third fret of the sixth string, finger one on the second fret of the fifth string. Here we go. Ready and string six and six two and three, four, three, six, and six, two, and three, four, three. Next chord, hop them over. Five, and five, two, and three, four, three. Nice job. Now the third chord. We're gonna leave the third finger where it is. It's gonna stay on that note, uh, D. We're gonna lift finger two, and we're gonna bring finger one over one string to the thinner side. So it's holding this second fret on the third string now. It sounds like that, it's an A note. And the chord that you're currently holding is known as D suspended four, and you only play four strings for this chord, the first four strings, the thinnest four. Um, they'll sound something like this. Fourth string is a D, third string is an A, second string we're holding third fret D, and on the first string we're holding the third fret with the pinky still G. Sounds like that. Um, and we're gonna pick the same pattern again now except that our starting note is gonna be the fourth string this time. So that'll sound something like this. Ready, and. D, and, D, D, and, G. Oh, sorry, that's an A, D. And now for the last note in this pattern, on this chord, we're gonna lift everything up. Actually, you can leave the pinky and the ring finger down, but you definitely want to lift the first finger. And pick an open G. And what that does is it gives you time to get back to the G chord, which we started on. And uh, you'll find this is a common technique that guitar players use, is they'll lift on the very last upbeat of uh, a chord in a progression to give them time to get to the next chord. And Billy Joe Armstrong is no exception to this. So um, we will now go back to that D chord, D sus4 chord that we had here. Um, and we'll do that picking pattern once again um, with uh, saying the string numbers instead of saying the note names. So. We're gonna start on the fourth string again. Ready, and 
four and four, two and three, four. Now lift the first finger. Three. Now we're gonna bring fingers two and one back over to the third fret of the sixth string G and the second fret of the fifth string B. So we're going back to our G chord now that we started on and we're gonna repeat the whole pattern on the G chord. So before we do, I wanna point out that the whole time our pinky and ring finger are staying on these two notes up here. G and D, they don't have to lift. We call them pivot fingers, and they help us to find our way because they're a physical reference for us, kind of like our anchor um, for this progression or this part of the song. So let's try the whole pattern now. Again, two times we go through the pattern on the G chord, once on the C add nine, and then once on the D sus four before lifting at the end and going back to the G. And I'm gonna keep repeating it a few times for you now. Let's try playing it together. Ready? And G and G D and G D G and repeat the pattern. G and G D and G D G. Now the next chord move fingers with two and one over. C and C, D, and G, D, G. Now the D sus form with the first finger over. D, and D, D, and A, D. Lift the first finger, open G. I'll say string numbers now. String six, we're repeating the pattern now. And six again, two, and. Three, four, three, same pattern, same chord. Six and six, two and three, four, three. Move to C at nine. Five and five, two and three, four, three. Now the D sus four, move your first finger over, lift finger two. Four and Four, two, and three, four. Lift the first finger, pick three, back to the G chord. Six, and string six again. Two, and three, four, three, six, and six, two, and three, four, three. Switch to C at nine. Five, and five, Two and three, four, three, D sus four, D and string four again, two and three, four, lift finger one, open G, low G now, G and G, D and G, D, G, low G. At nine, C and C D and G D G D sus four D and D D and A D lift first finger G repeating G and G D and G D G G and G. Nine C and C D and G D E G open D and D D and A D lift first finger G let's go a little faster E and G D and G D G G and G D and G D G C add nine. C, D, E, G, D, and D, D, and A, 
A, D, G, little faster, G, N, G, D, G, D, G, G, N, G, D, G, D, G, C, F, C, D, N, G, E, G, D, N, D, D, N, A, D, little mistake on my part, G, N, G, D, N, G, D, G, N, G, N, G, D, N, G, D, G, C, F, C, D, N, G, E, G, D, N, D, D, N, A, D, let's go a little faster. that point the chord progression switches to something else which we're gonna do in part two of this video series um, but you might have noticed that as I started to go faster um, I was not being so particular about picking exactly the strings that I mentioned in the tutorial at first um, the reason why is because you're holding the chord shape and whatever note you pick in the chord will still fit um, and especially once you start singing it might not be very or might not be noticeable to the listeners at all um, if you pick say the third string instead of the fourth string one time um, so while we do want to practice to be specific with our picking in the beginning as we get faster with the picking pattern uh, we want to emphasize the rhythm of the picking pattern in the right hand. That's way more important than picking exactly the same notes every single time. Uh, so with that, I hope that uh, you enjoy practicing this tune and hope you check out the next video, which will be coming soon, hopefully. And thanks for watching and have a great day and happy practicing. Bye now.